Hello, my name's Bill Lynn, and I'm a Senior Distinguished Engineer with the Office of the CTO at Dell Technologies. And I'm here to talk about NVMe 2.0 and its applications in the enterprise space. You know, NVMe is expanding into many different spaces. And, you know, if you think about the reasons people should start using NVMe is really it's massive boost in performance. NVMe is a streamlined protocol that was designed specifically for non-volatile storage devices and its ability to increase the uh, storage performance is just phenomenal. If you think about in the early days when we had rotating disks, a rotating disk would probably generate a couple of hundred IOPS and transfer data at you know, two to 300 megabytes per second. And that was because of the physics of the disk and the fact that you could only pull the data off the, off the media at a certain rate. With NVMe and non-volatile storage, that has increased to now you can get a million IOPS off a single device and transfer data at the rate of anywhere from 5.5 to 6.5 gigabytes per second. So that kind of multiple orders of magnitude boost in performance is, is one of the biggest reasons for using NVMe. If you look at how Dell has implemented NVMe, we actually use NVMe across our entire portfolio. Not only do we use NVMe in the uh, server space, we use NVMe in the client space as well. We use NVMe drives in client devices such as laptops, desktops, and uh, towers because of its massive boost in performance. And essentially using an NVMe device in a, in a client device effect, effectively feels like your system boots immediately. It, it lessens the boot time dramatically. Using NVMe in the enterprise space, um, if you think about it, there's no real one use case that benefits from NVMe. There is the boost in performance applies across the board. So all use cases that depend on any kind of storage benefits from NVMe. We use it uh, virtually in every product we ship today. If you think about the key benefits that NVMe brings to us in the enterprise space, it's really the performance and it's the fact that it is a streamlined protocol that was designed specifically for non-volatile storage. So looking back at uh, SCSI and serial ATA, NVMe doesn't carry any of the baggage essentially of those two protocols. The fact that it plugs directly into PCIe and doesn't require any kind of adapter you don't need uh, SATA ports on your chipset. You don't need a SCSI adapter to plug into the system. The fact that you plug your devices directly into PCIe is a huge advantage and allows a lot of flexibility to system designers. Chipsets today or CPUs today are coming out with a, a large number of PCIe lanes that we can take advantage of for constructing virtually any kind of storage application you can think of. PCIe and coupled with NVMe allows us to essentially future-proof our platforms and gives us a huge amount of flexibility. So that's really some of the reasons that we ship NVMe in virtually all our platforms today. NVMe started out as a very streamlined protocol for non-volatile devices, uh, specifically NAND. It was hugely successful. It, it boosted the performance of, of storage devices tremendously. So given that fundamental base, NVMe has evolved and it has brought in lots of new features with NVMe 2.0. Uh, some of the new features are enhanced security. It uh, increased the CRC size uh, from 16 to 32 to 64 bits, which adds greater robustness to the system. 
But the biggest feature in NVMe 2.0 that personally has me really excited is the NVMe over fabrics, what we call NVMe OF. This is, allows us to send NVMe commands over various types of fabrics. Uh, you can have NVMe over InfiniBand, you can have NVMe over uh, Ethernet, you can have NVMe over Fiber Channel. Uh, you can support different transport protocols like RDMA, TCP, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And this ability to have a storage device that actually lives somewhere on the network and not be local to the draw or not be local to the system, but have it show up as a local device is, is just incredible. So it allows us to do some really, really neat things uh, in future systems. So the NVMe OF is, is probably the most exciting feature from Dell's point of view that we can see going forward. You know, NVMe was introduced actually back in 2007, and it has grown by leaps and bounds since its inception. Its original form as a streamlined uh, NAN interface was incredibly successful and it has grown rapidly. With that growth, we've evolved to add new features and new functionalities to the specification. And one thing that we saw was that the specification started growing in such a way that it was not very consumable by developers. It was sometimes confusing and it was a little difficult to figure out where things were. NVMe 2.0 has been completely refactored and reorganized so that the specification is much more easy, easily consumed by developers and it's mm -hmm. a lot easier to find uh, areas, you know, information that you're looking for. And it also is structured in such a way that we don't have uh, conflicting requirements or conflicting uh, requirements within the, the spec. So I think you'll find NVMe 2.0 to be a, a much more thought out and much more easily consumed uh, specification. And the organization of the spec now allows us to add new features in a much more seamless manner. If you really wanna learn more about NVMe technology, go to nvmexpress.org for pretty much anything you wanna know. You can download the latest versions of the specification and it's a great resource for figuring out what kind of information you need about NVMe.